A few years back, I fought a real battle with anxiety. During that season of struggle, I came across this verse, Isaiah 54, 4. It says, do not be afraid. You will not be put to shame. Do not fear disgrace. You will not be humiliated. That verse spoke so clearly to me and resonated so deeply with the things I was dealing with at that time. So I wrote it on a note card so that I could carry it with me everywhere I went for months and literally hold on to the word of God. During the day when I would feel panic start to rise up within me, I would slip my hand into the pocket where I had stuffed that note card and I would squeeze it between my fingers. If I was um, in public, I would just say it to myself silently, but if I was alone, I would out loud declare the promise of God. During the night when I would wake in a cold sweat and gasping for breath, I fumbled under the pillow for that note card that I tucked away there and I would clench onto it and repeat the words, do not be afraid, you will not be put to shame, do not fear disgrace, you will not be humiliated. I said the words over and over until the pounding of my heart was drowned out by the music of that verse and I was eventually lulled back to sleep. You know, it was not magic words and it was not instantaneous, but as I continued to stand on the promise of God, my anxiety started to decrease. The attacks would be shorter and fewer and further in between until God carried me through that season. From time to time, I'm looking through a drawer and I will find where I have shoved that note card or another one that I've used like it. And I am reminded of the power of God's word and his faithfulness to carry us through our darkest times. The Bible is so full of God's promises that we can stand firmly on. No matter what you're facing today, God has a promise for you. And I encourage you to find a verse that resonates with you, that speaks to your heart and to your situation. Write it down, carry it with you, and literally hold on to the word of God. If you have a verse that you are standing on today, I encourage you to share it with us on our blog, Homegrown Happy Heart, or in the Facebook page in the comments. We look forward to hearing from you.